We've been together for over nine years now, but decided to sit down and see what would happen if we opened up and asked each other anything about our relationship, our experience being queer, and why we're proud to be gay. This is what happened. Yeah, I was out. You weren't out. Looked you up. You were messaging me and like every other person. I was just a number. But I do remember, based on your profile picture, seeing this person and being like, like giving them eyes and being like, oh yeah, we chat. And then later seeing you and then being like, oh, who was that other? But I remember our first like date was we went studying, Mm -hmm. and I remember we were in the library, and I was like. Blah, 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 gay, gay, gay. Like, and you were like, shut up. <laughs> and I was like, chill out, bro. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. But I was also so scared of being gay that I was like, it was mostly when you would talk about being gay that I was like, Yeah, I you thought everyone so was like loud. watching or us. Or like looking and being like, oh yeah. my god, those guys are gay. Yeah, you were like, stop talking about being gay. And I was like, what? Or just like whisper it is kind yeah. of what I And was I was thinking. not an empathetic person at that point that mm-hmm. I was just like, ah, well, I'm gay, don't. <laughs> it was very transient for us and like fluid. And I don't think either of us really knew what it was. And we also didn't know it was going to be so serious. I think there's way less role models for gay people to understand or more less ex- expectations growing up there was never like gay tv shows that we were able to watch to see like oh it's normal and so i feel like i didn't know how to start a gay relationship entering it it was just like literally like a blinding blizzard of like i have no idea what's going on <laughs> and then i think it just slowly morphed into this like very serious relationship that it is now a university town it wasn't very diverse i think like we were kind of like There weren't that many gay people. I think it was easier for us to be like, okay, we're in a relationship than maybe if we had been somewhere else where that was more queer. Well, you just didn't have enough options. (laughs) So you're like, I guess I'll stick with this. No, I mean, I think it was like maybe easier for us to like follow like a quintessential, like let's start dating path. Yes, I obviously wish I wasn't gay when I was younger because I was struggling with that. Thought it was wrong and thought that I shouldn't be gay. Everyone told me I shouldn't be gay. And I think that's like an important transition for like every gay man. There's literally a point in your life when you're actually like, I am... I want to be gay now, I'm happy to be gay. If I could not be gay, maybe I wouldn't be because it would make my life easier or I'd feel less intimidated about being like affectionate in public or things like that. But I think once I was in a relationship for long enough and realized like the beauty of our relationship and the fact that it was gay and I was really proud about that, I think I eventually became to the point where I was like, even if uh, I had a magic lamp or a magic genie and he was like, do you, he or she was like, do you want to be gay? I can undo it. I would, I would now say, no, I want to be gay for the rest of my life. I think it's, well, you, you maybe. Oh my <laughs> God. No, I'm serious. At a stage in my life, I was like, maybe I'm bisexual. I don't think I'm gay. So I don't want to come out until I have to. Because if I end up with a girl... You were so pragmatic. Of course, maybe, you were well, like, I... <laughs> no, I just felt like, you know, I don't need to tell the world if I'm going to end up with... If I end up with a girl, but then we started dating, like, behind closed doors. <laughs> Your strategic event. No, like, around my friends and stuff. I just remember thinking, like, okay, we've been together for long enough that, like, I don't want to hide this. So now it's time to start telling people one by one because it is part of my life now. I was also annoying. I was like, you're gay. Uh, yeah, I know. You'd be like, you, you're not bisexual. You're <laughs> that was dumb. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, but that like, I mean, me you're, right. you're right. You're right. I think the hardest age or part about being gay is like before you come out. I'm a white, cisgendered man in Canada. So like the privileges that I have are like huge, which I think has led me to be able to come out. I honestly was like, I don't want to be gay. And I just hate it I hate myself and like Mm. you can drown in the way that like society and people speak to you and like that how you literally let the shame of who you actually are take over and I think I'm dealing with the fact that like I had to lie to so many people for so long Mm -hmm. about how I wasn't gay and I think that you it's not a good skill to teach a kid it's not a good skill for a kid to learn about how to mask who they really are to their friends and family and I think that's so damaging and I'm still dealing with it coming out was so great. When you come out, every single person who's been mean to you like can't anymore. Mm-hmm. And I just think about all those like people in high school, and I'm just like, hmm. where are you now? <laughs> <laughs> There's pros and cons. I think pros are that we're not subjected to like the gendered ideals of straight people just like falling into their like, oh, I'm the wife, and I do this, and I'm the husband, and I do this, and it's like. I don't know how healthy it is. I don't know how much of them are are just like trying to be more masculine or feminine because they feel like they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's sad. I'm like, I hope that they can talk to each other enough to know that like that's not necessarily the way it should be. And I think 
a lot of men like don't want to be demasculinated by their girlfriends and I just I think that's sad and it's nice we don't have to deal with that like mm -hmm. there's masculine aspects of each of us and feminine aspects or like doesn't even matter mm -hmm. and I think it's so exciting that we get to like traverse and be fluid about like mm -hmm. who we are we don't th show public displays of affection at all because mm -hmm. we're scared or yeah we aren't comfortable mm -hmm. that's really sad mm -hmm. I think it's eaten at our ability to even just be intimate in general mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that like straight people don't realize that they take for granted that I just am like envious of. It becomes like meaningful to me because gay people are still oppressed, even though we live in a part of the world that is probably one it's of the like better more parts in the world. Depression. But yeah. like we still are aware of the oppression even in our own city and in the world at large, and I feel kind of like proud to be part of that. Yeah, I'm like, also proud to try and represent people who aren't just gay but are like all queer. different. Yeah. yeah, just anything. And I see that in like so many of our queer friends is this like mm -hmm. amazing empathy because you've gone through something together. Yeah. Their answer is correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I think like in the way that we are so at the core like different in personality is and still was and still is the hardest part of our relationship. More of a nervous person and I'm more of someone who's like concerned about like other people around us being annoyed and I feel <laughs> like the hardest part is like it's the best part too, it's a lesson you taught me about like not being afraid and just like being yourself. At the core in some ways, like that represents like our differences. Like yeah. you're the extrovert, I'm the introvert in some ways. And yeah. then, like, we flip it up. You were like cautious and you were careful and you were, I remember just thinking he's so like good. Like I just felt like you were just like a good person who like loved like animals and it was just like this like, I was like, is this for real? I remember in, in bed we were like going to sleep and I thought you had said like, I love you, and then I was like, oh, and then I was like, I love you, and then it got really <laughs> awkward. But I think from that moment on, we both started considering like what it actually meant to really love the I wonder what person. I did say. Our relationship has changed so much over the years, and I just think like our version of love has changed. Yeah, over I think the love years. will always change for everyone. I think if you expect it to be this like thing. And just yeah, not gonna ever be your yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz if you're reaching for a goal when you get there you might be like oh yeah wah, wah. oh that there's never an end of anything like it just keeps rolling being queer is hard but that's what makes it amazing mm -hmm. do you love being gay i love being gay i do not as much as i love you though <laughs> <laughs>